Good Morning Church. Nick has asked me to uh, do a devotional on uh, John 1, verse 35 to 51, and it is about Jesus' collection of the first disciples. Uh, what I'm going to do, rather than read it and waste most of my time, I'm going to put it up now uh, so you can have a read of it. It won't be up for too long, so make sure you pause it so you can get it all, So just so you can familiarise yourself with the story. Okay, hope you have all read that and you know what we're talking about. I just wanted to go through a couple of things that really stand out to me um, from these verses. Um, one of them's just a little something and the other one is a little bit of a challenge. So the first thing that I noticed when reading this is how Jesus gets called a variety of different things during these verses. So just in those 15, 16 verses, he gets called the Messiah. He gets called Jesus. He gets called the Lamb of God. He gets called Rabbi, Teacher, Christ, or the Anointed One, Son of Joseph, Nazarene, Son of God, King of Israel, and Son of Man. So a whole array of, of different kind of um, names for him. And it was how they knew to call him that. Where did they get that from? He just met them, and they already knew who he was um i've not got an answer for that i just it's just something that stood out maybe it's something that i will look into um or people might want to contact me to tell me if they know the answer but yeah it just just really kind of stood out as how in the instant that they they met him or they got brought to him that they they knew all these different array of names for him the second thing then that kind of stood out to me as, as a bit of a challenge in uni, um, we are obviously it, it, the university course that I'm doing has got a focus on youth work, and as part of that, it's youth discipleship. Um, and one of the, the the schemes or the the programs that they follow is uh, one where it's called uh, it's called the follow, then come see, and then stay or remain. So you have. Uh, all these different activities for people to to follow Jesus, to come see him, so to come see him first, then follow him, and then they remain, and then they can go on and they can make more disciples. And Jesus has already set this as example in these verses. Uh, so we read, you know, how uh, he replies to them, come and you will see. Then in uh, verse 42, we have found the Messiah, that is Christ, and he was brought to Jesus. Um, in verse 43, he says, finding Philip, he said to him, follow me. And there's just all examples of the come see, the follow me, and then the, the remain, or the to kind of become a Christian. Um, and it's just how Jesus has set out that example for us. Andrew, throughout these verses, is constantly bringing people to Jesus. He's constantly introducing people to Christ. And that's the challenge for me. The challenge that this is set for me is, how many people am I bringing to Christ? It, it's great for me to, to be able to talk about my faith when asked about it. It's great for me to stand up in front of Christians and, and to preach or to lead or to do anything like that. I absolutely love doing that. But the challenge that this, these verses have set me is, am I being like Andrew? Am I, am I seeking people? to take to Christ? Am I saying to people, come to church with me or watch this or anything? Am I am I leading people to Christ? Are you leading people to Christ? Is are the people in your lives, if you sit now for a few minutes and think, are there people in your lives that you can actually say, come to church with me or watch church with me or is a link to church, watch this, some, anything like that. Like I say, I've been challenged by it and hopefully you guys will um, because that is our mission. We are called to be disciples of men um, and part of that is to introduce people to Christ for them to come see, for them to follow and for them to go on and for them to introduce people to Christ. The Masio Day, yeah, the mission of God is to introduce people to Christ so that they can be saved and they can enjoy all the wonderful things that we do. So 
it's challenged me hopefully it'll challenge you or the people in your life that you can introduce to christ in these next week or so hope you have a good week people and i look forward to seeing you all soon bye